Just as the sunrise starts to show, warming up the motorway. You know you felt this way before. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I really hope that you're doing really well today. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I am doing an autumn clean and decorate of my kitchen and this is the final decorating video. So it's a little bit bittersweet because I love decorating but I am just enjoying all of the autumnal feels in my home now. So if you did miss any of my previous decorating, I am going to go ahead and link the rest of the videos down in the description box. So you can go ahead and watch them after this one. But I thought I was going to keep the kitchen nice and minimal and just have subtle touches here and there. But I ended up just going all out. So it definitely stick around until the end so you can see the final result. And I really hope it gives you some inspiration to decorate your home as well I have got a ton of cleaning motivation in today's video as well because I like to have a clean space before I decorate so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump straight into today's video so please do go ahead and leave it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get to cleaning Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do was just give the sink a good scrub because you know I love a good shiny sink. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to fill the sink with some hot water and Sephora. And I'm actually using the Winter Spice Sephora. And I know that it's a little bit premature because that's normally used at Christmas time, but it's just what I had left over. I don't have any other like autumn scents. And I really wanted that sort of spicy scent to the kitchen today so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that for now until the other scents come out because I haven't seen any this year yet I think I'm just a little bit too early but I just love this spicy scent so it works well for today it's getting me in the autumn spirit so I'm just gonna literally wipe down everything in the kitchen and just get it nice and clean ready to decorate were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together so go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you decorate for autumn or if you just enjoy watching these types of videos and if you do decorate I thought it would be really fun if you could tag me over on Instagram in all of your autumn decorating pictures. I would love to see how you decorate and just grab some more inspiration from you guys so I will have my Instagram link down in the description below. at her and then he smiled picked up a pen and paper and started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining so once the kitchen was nice and clean, it was finally time to start decorating and I wanted to just start off by hanging up this wreath that I picked up from HomeSense a few weeks ago and Rob actually just attached a little magnet on the back for me so it was really easy to just put it up and easy to take off without leaving any marks. I wrote you a love song and I tried to make it beautiful a song about your sweet sweetheart and how nobody can 
Okay, so I love this pumpkin and as soon as I saw it, I knew that I had to have it, but I had no idea where to put it and I decided to put it on the top of the cabinet and I actually think it works really well up here. It definitely did take me a few attempts to get it in the right like angle that I want it, but yeah, I'm really glad that I decided to put it up here. So if you're ever struggling to know where to put something, don't ever forget about the top of your cabinets because it can make a huge difference to the look of the kitchen. So I actually grabbed these leaves from the shelf in the living room and I put something else there that you'll see in my autumn home tour. Everything's always getting moved about but I just thought that this corner needed something a little bit extra and I thought these leaves looked really good. So it's just adding another little pop of colour and it, yeah I just think it looks really cosy. So I'm just going to go ahead and wash up my autumn mugs and then add them to the mug tree or mug stand. I'm never really sure what to call it, but I picked it up a few weeks ago from Ikea and I just thought this was a really simple way to decorate. It's going to be functional. I'm going to actually use these mugs, but at the same time, it just adds that little pop of autumn. So this is just a really simple thing you can do if you want to add a little bit of decor, but not go all out. Definitely pick up some autumn mugs. And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I so now moving on to the tiered tray and I actually like how it looks already so I'm not going to be doing too much to it. I'm just going to take away the flowers and add some of the autumn leaves and then a couple of pumpkins and then I think I'm just going to call it a day because I think it looks really pretty. I am going to be completely changing it out for Christmas so I just wanted to enjoy it like this for a little bit longer. I don't know what I do without you. So I'm just going to take this little riser stand and it was actually a chopping board from Ikea. I painted it white and Rob added some little legs on it for me. So I'm just going to have that on the side with my chopping boards, my spiced pumpkin candle and then a little pumpkin next to it. And I'm considering I always say I don't like a cluttered kitchen and I don't like anything being on my sides. My taste and everything definitely seems to be changing lately because I love having things out on show and I love having all of the decor out and I just I feel like the more I have out the cozier it feels so I don't know if my taste like I said is just changing but we'll have to see what happens over the next few months. So I really wanted to bring the oil diffuser out here. It wasn't being used in the front room because I'd taken it off of the TV stand when I decorated and I just thought the white and wood tones would just work perfectly in the kitchen but I wasn't really sure how to have this area. So you're definitely going to see me go through all the trial and errors and just change it up a little bit but I really like how it turned out and it just looks so good but like I said it does seem a lot more cluttered than I'm used to, but I really love that cluttered, cozy look. So you'll have to let me know down in the comments if it looks too cluttered or if it's just about right. Do let me know if I'm going way over the top with the clutter.
So once I'd figured out where I wanted everything, I wanted to go ahead and finally light this candle and it smelled amazing. But I always do feel super anxious when I've got candles on. So I just move it away from the other decor and just have it on the hob. But I love this side of the kitchen. It looks so cozy and it's now time to sort out the other side. And I do keep this side very minimal because I don't want to overdo it. So I'm just going to take a crate that Rob made for me along with some linen ikea tea towels i did have them in a haul i'll link that video down in the description box if you want to go and check it out and i just thought this was a super cute way to have our apples because it's really the only fruit we tend to eat to be honest so i already had loads of apples and it just looks really cute like a little farmer's market crate and yeah i don't know how many times i can say cute but i think it looks really really cute So when it comes to the windowsill, I did want to keep it quite minimal. So I just added some neutral coloured stems into this vase and then I changed out the like riser for the soap for a darker one just so it matched. I do want to go ahead and get some different soap dispenser bottles because the pink doesn't really go but it's just what I'm working with at the moment and I think everything came out so good. I just love how cosy everything is and the final touch that I want to do in this kitchen is add some tea towels and I'm just going to go ahead and add another linen one that I picked up from Ikea along with one that I actually used in the spring. It's just this gorgeous like mustard coloured and I think it just works perfectly so I'm just going to layer those so you just get a little bit of the mustard just to bring in some color over this side and yeah i am so happy with how everything's turned out i really hope that you have got some inspiration from today's video that you can take to decorate your homes as well do let me know down in the comments if you've enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming home tour and i'll see you guys back here in the next one